The Streamy Awards are shaking, ladies and gentlemen. So the Streamy Awards are the awards of the people that are streaming the most on social media right now. The heavy hitters. They only cover the top people. Well, you guys' favorite, Pinky Doll. You know, Ice Cream So Good, that crazy girl. She was on the Streamy Awards. Of course, they gave her a chance to present. Absolutely amazing. She was up there doing her classic little gang gang colloquialisms and they saw what the girl looked like in real light and it ain't light and I live. Let's talk about it. Pinky Doll, for those who have not heard of her, is an NPC player. You ever play Grand Theft Auto and the people are like, you know, weird like that. She portrays that, the real live human version online and she gets paid for it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, refer to my other Pinky Doll videos, but this is her online. This is her at the Streamy Awards. So they got a video of her in real life and baby, your girl is a chocolate queen and I absolutely live. So NPC is special and people give them money because, and let's just be honest, they're giving a little bit of a teenage voice. She plays in like a little girl voice and I noticed that, okay? A lot of them play in cartoonish like voices. Anything cartoon to me has to do with what? Uh, kids. It's supposed to attract kids, but it's supposed to be adult kind of play, but she's also an OnlyFans model. She makes about $20,000 per stream. Now, she lives in Montreal. She speaks fluent French, and I know the girl is smart. Now, I know I got her head cut off, but you actually have to be smart to do this. I'm not going to lie. She is promoting herself. She went on live the other day and was screaming at the top of her lungs saying, y'all leak my OnlyFans. Oh, my God. Whoever put my OnlyFans videos online, they absolutely should be arrested. I'm going to press charges. I'm going to sue. And what did that do? I'm sure that dragged a million and one people down to her OnlyFans, which was absolutely brilliant marketing. I'm like, who that girl has in charge of her business? They know exactly what they're doing, and they're getting this young lady to the top. What I love the most about Pinky Doll being dark-skinned, she played on y'all's colorism and went against the algorithm. See, at the end of the day, social media is programmed generally by white and Asian men. That makes what their eyes deem to be beauty, important, things of that nature gets pushed further in the algorithm. You have to understand that. Pinky doll, somebody giving blonde hair, uh, a three, uh, uh, a six, 13 wig, somebody giving pale skin like that, somebody giving more of an Asian makeup look. She looks like an anime character, Harajuku doll, and she knows what she's giving. She played on that and it pushed her through the algorithm. And this young lady is giving Flo Millie and I live. I'm here for the young black girls getting their money and playing on y'all's colorism. Take that stuff that they use to destroy you, twist it, make it your own, and use it against you. And that's how you get to the top. Use it against the world and that's how you get to the top.